The family of a man killed while taking a walk on a North Wildwood beach two years ago has just filed a lawsuit. Karen Hepp joins us live from the newsroom tonight. Karen, his widow and the friend who was with him during the tragedy are speaking out publicly for the first time. Yeah, and clearly this is still very raw for them. They are emotional and they are in distress because of all of this, but they say that this beach is very dangerous and they don't want anybody else to have this kind of experience and feel the pain that they did. According to witnesses, Brad Smith was simply taking a walk on the beach right along the water's edge with his best friend and their two daughters when all of a sudden the beach collapsed. Walking on sand, the next thing I know, I'm in the water. And there was nothing underneath me. There was no, no sand to push off from, nothing. I'm just swimming and my daughter's on my back and all I could think of is I got to get to shore. With his daughter wrapped around his neck, Scott Sunderland finally made it in. Little Brandy was picked up by a jet skier, but nobody could find her father, Brad. I just ran. I mean, just, yeah, just ran down the beach. And the kids were there in the ambulance already. And it was, it's the most terrible day ever. This is the video of that day two years ago as the Coast Guard searched in that section of North Wildwood's Inlet Beach. The protected area, I believe, is right around here by ordinance. A lawyer shows me on a map exactly where Brad disappeared. They say others have died here before. This beach needs to be shut down. The family is filing this lawsuit for damages against New Jersey, Cape May County, and North Wildwood to get this beach closed. When we checked out the very same stretch today, you can clearly see families strolling in the same spot. Brad was a father of four. His family is devastated. They say others shouldn't have to be as well. He was the most important person in the family who brought us all together all the time. Now we spoke with officials from the city of North Wildwood and they say that this is a tragic and very sad incident, but they have never had a drowning on a protected beach ever. Now this is the inlet section. It is an unprotected area. They have signs that are posted that say no swimming is allowed. They even patrol that area. Officials from the New Jersey Attorney General's office say they don't comment on pending litigation. Ian? All right, Taryn, thank you.